ಪ್ರೀತವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವಾಣಿ ಓ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವಾಣಿ ಅಮೃತ ವಾಣಿ grace and blessings of the lord be always upon you dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus today the 11th of november the good god is calling us towards three basic rules of life first that we are not supposed to give scandal to others when jesus was being was leaving this earth and was going back to his father is a sanction basically before is a sanction he speaks this word go to the ends of the world and proclaim the good news and in this command there is hidden a command that never become a bad news for the others because we are supposed to be carriers of good news and never parasites of the evil Jesus wants us never to be scandal to others never to lead others into sin the kids look at the parents and learn you may tell 100 good things the kids may listen or may not but you do one bad thing one crime one sin and that's printed in the mind of the kid so it's not with our words that we lead people it's by our actions people are looking at us the little kids are looking at us and they will do what we are doing so the first message that jesus christ is giving us today dear brethren is that we are not supposed to be scandalous towards the other and what jesus says he says if any of us is a scandal to any little child to an, to the least of these to be correct to the least of these then let him tie a millstone to his neck and sink drown into the sea so that he will not come up again that that's what jesus says to us today that we are not supposed to be scandal to the other second point jesus says that forgiveness is ensured jesus says that he forgives and if the same person sins against you seven times a day and turns back to you seven times and says i repent you must forgive how many times should i forgive lord 70 times 7 countless why because that person who is doing wrong against you is my child and you are also my child he is your brother own blood and you are supposed to forgive forgive the other forgive us as we forgive those who trespass against us and we say to him if i do not forgive you do not forgive so let's see what we are asking in our lord's prayer every day asking the lord to forgive us or not to forgive us because if we are asking forgiveness without forgiving the other we are not asking forgiveness from the lord we are asking him not to forgive us so forgiveness is really important dear brothers and sisters we receiving it from the lord and we giving it to the others both and the third speaks about the power of faith when the disciple says increase our faith jesus says if you had the faith size of a mustard seed you could say to the mulberry tree be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you you know mulberry tree dear brethren it has huge branches and it looks and it looks huge that's the same hugeness of its root so above the ground the huge mulberry tree under the ground is the same huge mulberry roots so to pluck out a mulberry tree 
is impossible. Second, to plant it into the sea, another impossible thing, doubly impossible. Jesus Christ says that any impossible will be made possible for those who have faith. Many a times in our life, what happens, you know, brothers and sisters? We think that this thing is even impossible for God. This thing is even impossible for God. Even God cannot do anything in this situation. We give up. We even give up on God in that situation. So let us learn this today. That He is asking us to have faith in Him. Faith as much as mustard seed. Har koi jo hai chota hoga bada ek din. Chota hai bol ke tukrao mat hoga bada ek din. The faith that we have may look like a mustard seed, may look little, but it has power to do great things in our life. So let's close our eyes and I make this little prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, Eternal Father God, we offer you our faith, Lord Jesus. We offer the little faith that we have. But you said, Lord, that this little faith is enough to move mountains. So Lord Jesus, we surrender to you all the doubts that we have regarding our faith all those things that take us away from you. Lord Jesus, we pray today that you help us to come over everything that blocks us and may our faith heal us. As you say, after every miracle, Lord Jesus, you used to say, go for your faith has healed you. So Lord, may our Faith heal us and make us whole. Amen.